वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फोर डैश फोर्टीन दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टेकन फ्राम चैप्टर नंबर फोर दैट इज एक्जियल लोड एंड द बुक नेम इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटीरियल बाय आर सी हिबलर सो स्टेटमेंट इज द पोस्ट इज मेड ऑफ डोगलस फर एंड हैज अ डायमीटर ऑफ सिक्सटी मिलीमीटर इफ इट इज सब्जेक्टेड टू लोड ऑफ ट्वेंटी किलो न्यूटन एंड द सॉइल प्रोवाइड्स फ्रैक्शनल रजिस्टर दैट इज यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड अलॉन्ग इट साइड डब्ल्यू इज फोर किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर determine the force f at its bottom needed for equilibrium also what is the displacement of the top of the post with respect to its bottom neglect the weight of the post so you can see this is the post that is made up of wood and this is douglas fir and that is subjected to 20 kilo newton load and this soil provides fractional load that is W and that W is four kilo newton per meter uniformly distributed load. So you have to find this force F for the equilibrium of this post, and then you have to determine the displacement of this point A with respect to B. Due to this load, it will compress, causing this there will be a deflection. So the, you have to find this displacement of A with respect to B. So let's start with the solution. So first we will take this whole. for entire post as free body diagram in order for entire post as fbd fbd means free body diagram clear so we will take this entire post let this is the post clear and we have a 20 kilo newton load at the top and at bottom we need to find this force f clear for equilibrium purpose and you can see this uniformly distributed load along the side and when it is converted into point load so w into 2 so w is given as 4 kilo newton so 4 into 2 will be 4 multiplied by 2 is 8 kilo newton and that will act at the middle of this post so this this force will be this one now we'll apply equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces in along y direction must be equal to 0 and upward force is taken as positive so you can see one force which is this upward the second force is this force which is upward and third force this is 20 kilo newton that is downward their sum must be equal to 0 so minus 20 kilo newton plus 8 kilo newton plus this force is equal to 0 so from here you will get F minus twelve is equal to zero, so F will be equal to twelve kilo newton. So in order to keep this post in equilibrium, your reaction force at this bottom must be equal to twelve kilo newton. Now this is the answer of our first part. Now we'll move towards second part, and in second part we have been asked to find the displacement of point A with respect to B. from top to bottom or displacement of top of the post with respect to its bottom so we know that this displacement of a with respect to b will be equal to load which is equal to p into length divided by a into e now you can see that we have a uniformly distributed load acting along the side by the fractional resistance of this soil so at every length of this post this force will change so this force this w is a function of this y so what we will do is that we will take the post we will cut this post at a distance of y and draw the free body diagram so from free body diagram let this is the post that we have taken where this is 20 kilo newton clear and this distance where we have cut it is taken as y clear so according to uh, this distributed load when converted into point load so w into this y and it will act at the middle so i will represent it this force will be equal to w w is 4 and y is the this distance so it will be 4y and there when you cut it you will be having a reaction force which is fy that is a function that change with respect to y so we can find this fy by using equation of equilibrium and that equation of equilibrium is sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 
and upward force is taken as positive so you can see 20 is downward fy is downward and 4y is upward so i will write minus 20 plus 4y minus fy is equal to 0 so you can say that 4 fy 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 is equal to 4y minus 20 now if you put if y is equal to 0 so we get fy is equal to minus 20 kilo newton so you can see that this is correct because here this will be minus 20 that is downward so at this surface the force acting is compressive force clear now what we will do is that we have to find this displacement of point a with respect to b and that will be equal to for entire length of 0 to 2 meter clear that can be written as f y this force into small land dy a y into e since diameter of this post is given as uh, 60 millimeters so diameter is same so area will be remain throughout so we will take 1 over a into e because these are constant so we will left with 0 to 2 meter and that is f y into d y okay now we what we will do is that we will integrate it so displacement of point a with respect to point b will be equal to 1 over a into e and f y is uh for integral of 0 to 2 meter and this fy is 4y minus 20 into dy so you will get displacement of point a with respect to b is 1 over ae and we will left with the integral of 4y will be equal to 4y square over 2 and its limit will be 0 to 2 minus 20 into y and its limit will be from 0 to 2 okay so if you further simplify displacement of point a with respect to b will be equal to 1 over a into e and you will get if you put y as 2 so 4 into 2 square divided by 2 minus 4 into 0 square divided by 2 similarly if you take whole bracket minus 20 into 2 clear minus 20 into 0 so you will get this will be equal to 1 over a e and 2 1 2 2 are 4 4 and 2 square is 4 4 2 are 8 so 8 minus this will be 0 minus 40 minus 0 so you will get 8 minus 40 divided by ae this will be displacement of point a with respect to b so we will get minus 32 divided by a into e now you can see the unit of force is kilonewton so this displacement of point a with respect to b is minus 32 kilonewton and uh, divide by this a into e okay kilonewton into meter because this is fy into this distance okay so minus 32 we will remove this kilo so 10 to power 3 newton into meter area of this circular shape is pi by 4 d square and d is 0 0.06 square let me check it you can see 0 0.06 meter and what about e so for e we have been given that this is dogler fur so we have to go to the end of the book and from the property table at the end you can see there is average mechanical property second last one so when you click it so you will get this you have to search it now you can see here we have wood so wood is douglas fir and its e is 13.1 gigapascal so 13.1 into 10 to the power 9 so i will write 13.1 into 10 to the power 9 
okay so when you solve this you will get this displacement of point a with respect to b will come out to be minus 0 0.8639 meter into 39 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter or you can say displacement of point a with respect to b is minus 0 0.8639 millimeter now this minus sign shows that point a minus minus let me write it minus sign shows that point a moves towards b and that was all about this problem 6-14 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching